In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the first Android tablet, which has actually seemed exciting in the past couple of years. This is Google's new Pixel tablet. This was released a couple months ago, um, and I've always wanted it since then. Today I picked up the 256 gigabyte model in the hazel color, which is basically a black display and kind of a green looking back. So I'm going to get straight to unboxing this now. So holding the box together, like a lot of other Google products, is the two pull tabs. It's on the top and bottom of the box. And then after I take those pull tabs off, which one of them was kind of tricky, um, there's nothing really exciting about this part of the unboxing. But then there's the tablet. It's kind of wrapped like a gift almost. Um, it's got the kind of gift look to it. And it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the tablet is on the top of the box. So then after the tablet comes, there is this kind of sheet with paperwork. And this is a huge sheet for what there is. This is how big the paperwork actually is. And then there's the dock. This is what makes this tablet kind of really exciting because that pretty much turns it into a Google Home. It is also a charging dock, so this tablet does not come with a USB-C cable to charge it. It has the port on the tablet for data transfer and all of that, but the main way that Google expects you to charge this tablet is with this dock. This is really unique in my opinion because no other tablet just kind of allows the user to just put it on and go. I'm not sure what's supposed to be down there. So now getting to the most exciting part of this, the tablet. This is the Pixel tablet itself. It is a pretty thin tablet, honestly. It does feature Google's Tensor G2 chip, which was released back in 2022. And it is a pretty quick processor. Even the Tensor G1 was pretty quick in my opinion when I used it on the Pixel 6 Pro. But here's that hazel color on this Pixel tablet, and it looks nicer in person than it does on photos. And the gray bezels really look great with that black display. So of course it is an LCD but it is a nice LCD because OLEDs on tablets really aren't taking off yet as Apple is using mini LED and I also picked up this case and it's interesting to see how the case works with the dock. So there are like these pass-through pins on the case and those pretty much go onto the dock and that's how the tablet charges. I'm pretty sure there's also magnets in the case which help it stick to the dock. The case needs contact pins so that the tablet can connect to the dock within the case, and it also has magnets in it, I believe, which help it stick to the dock. And, um, that is a pretty cool system. So, um, on the Pixel tablet, there's the camera, um, the fingerprint scanner power button combo, which I'm going to turn it on real quick. It might not have any power right now. There's also the volume buttons, two microphones on the bottom. Oh, there it goes. Now it's turning on. There is the speakers and a USB-C port. Um, and on, I guess, the other bottom, I guess this would be the side on this tablet. There is nothing. Now I'm going to be setting up the Google Pixel tablet. So this is just like any other Android setup. It's pretty straightforward and easy. First, it asked me to connect to my Wi-Fi, which I did off camera. Then it said getting the tablet ready. After that, it asked me if I wanted to copy my apps and data. I didn't do that because I didn't have an Android tablet prior to this. So after that, it asked me to sign into my Google account, which again, I did off camera. After that, I set up the fingerprint reader, which is located in the power button. This took a little bit of time, but it did get my fingerprint in there, and it's pretty accurate, honestly. It's also a pretty fast fingerprint scanner. And the rest of it is kind of just normal Android setup. Um, and then after that, I was pretty much finished setting it up. And it actually went through now, a gesture system uh, tutorial with me, which I already knew how to do because I've used Android before. Tutorial. So that was the unboxing of the Google Pixel tablet. Of course, I'm going to have to use it some more to know what I think about it fully, but so far, I think it's a cool tablet, and I think this is one of the first exciting Android tablets alongside that new OnePlus tablet. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.